Hi buddy, it's Dr. Dan. I want to make a video so I can show you how you can use image J to measure your bead sizes for your experiment in BME 303L. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that when you download uh, Fiji, right, it actually doesn't have a Windows installer. It's just a zip file. So you can just unzip it and it will put it in this Fiji.app folder. And then to run image J, you just go in there and run the executable in Windows. And it's the same thing in Mac, I think. So when you run ImageJ, sometimes it'll ask you if you want to update, uh, sometimes it won't. Um, but this is, all, this is all it is, right? Um, but if you want to open files, you can either go to File, Open, Menu, or you can just, you know, I got my bead pictures here and my microscope slide picture there. I can just select all those, and I can just drag them into the bottom bar there where it says drag and drop now. And it opens, it put all the files up there, but it opens all the files for me. And so the first thing we need to do is if you look at all the files at the top, you can see it says this picture is 640 by 512 pixels. Okay, well, that's great, but we really want to know the size of these beads in millimeters, not pixels, right? That's why we took a picture of the scale bar, because now we can relate pixels to the actual size. And if you remember, the distance between these grid lines was 2 millimeters. And so now I want to just use that knowledge to decide how, how many pixels that is. And so we can measure that in image J by using this analyze and there's a set scale on there. Okay. And it will bring up a file that says distance in pixels. Okay. And we can put that in there. Well, the problem is we don't know the distance in pixels yet. So we have to measure that. So I'm going to use a line tool and I'm going to drag a line across approximately perpendicular. Okay. From left side of the line to left side of the line. And now we want to know how big that is. Um, you can hit analyze measure, or you can see the shortcut is just control M. So I just hit the control M button and it makes a measurement and it tells me a length in number of pixels. It's probably smart to take multiple measurements here. So I have that measurement. I'm going to draw another line measure. I press control M. It didn't bring back up the results. There it is. You know, I might even measure a different square over here. Control M. I may even measure one vertically just for kicks because it should all be two millimeters. So I can make a bunch of measurements um, on my picture of known distances to get a pretty good idea of how many pixels two millimeters is. So if I bring back up this window, see I have all these measurements. You know, some of them get pretty varying. Now I want the average distance. So I hit results and summarize. And you can say it gives me the mean. The mean length is 188.857. And so that tells me that two millimeters in these pictures equals 188.857 pixels. Now we can use analyze set scale, as I showed you before, to set the measurement. And so it put in the last thing we measured, but and the length of this line, but that's not what we want. We want to use the average here that we found. So I'm going to put in the distance in pixels is 188.857. The known distance is two and the unit is millimeters. Okay. And it does the calculation. It says, okay, that means it's 94.4285 pixels per millimeter. Our pixel, pixel aspect ratio just means it's a square where it's the same in the horizontal vertical direction. I'm going to click global and that means it will apply it to every image we have open. And so that's exactly what it did. So now it not only has the pixels, but it also has this with the size in millimeters. And so we can use this now to make measurements of our actual beads. Now in order to measure beads, what we care about is measuring the bead diameter, bead radius. Um, and so we can do that. I mean, the beads aren't perfectly circular, uh, so we might need to um, make several measurements. So the first thing you want to do is results, clear all the results because and it will say, do you want to save these? You say, no, I don't want to save them. Okay. Cause now we want to make new measurements of this bead. So I'm going to, again, I'll draw a line across to represent diameter. It may not be perfect, but I'll control M to measure that. Maybe I'll draw a line this way. Control M. A line this way. You just get a couple different measurements because it's not really a perfect circle. I bring back up my results. 
So it has all these lengths. Okay, and again, I can hit Resolve to Summarize. And you have the mean. So it looks like the mean diameter of this bead is 2.644 millimeters. So that's one way to do it. Um, and that gives us one bead. And so what we do next is we go to another bead, right? I had another picture, and I make another measurement. And we go to another bead. And we keep repeating until we have, you know, several beads measured. And that will give us a good idea of the average of all the beads in our group. I'm going to clear results. I'm going to show you the other way. Again, it's going to ask me to save the measurements. No. I mean, you could save them if you wanted. But the other way we can measure the bead, if I go back to the same one, is instead of measuring across, I'm going to go ahead and measure the area. And so you can actually drag this, these controls around. Right, and again, it's not perfect. Um, control M, okay, I look at it. And it will also tell me the area is 5.589. And of course, everybody knows that conversion from area uh, of a circle to radius or diameter. And so we could do the, you know, pi r squared to figure out what the radius is from the area. And so that's another way you can measure. Maybe you can do both and uh, just get a better estimate of what the actual diameter or radius is. So the one last thing I wanted to point out is I do have a picture of a wet bead here. And so this one had some, you know, when I put it on the glass slide, there's a bunch of water around it. And this is why I tell you, make sure you wick off your beads with Kim wipes before you take a picture because it's so hard to see where the edge of the bead is in this picture. And so that's just a warning to make sure you make sure you dry off the beads pretty well. Just wick away the water by putting the corner of a Kim wipe, like, you know, right in this area and the water all wick away. And then you can get a nice clean picture of the bead. So if you do this for all your beads, you'll be able to figure out the area. And then we can use that when we do our diffusion results later.